When I say reading, you say rocks. Reading. Rocks. Reading. Rocks. When I say reading, you say rocks. Reading. Rocks. Reading. Rocks. When I say reading, you say rocks. Reading. Rocks. Reading. Rocks. When I say Nick, you say rules. Nick. That, that's your part. You, you, you say rules. <laughs> OK? So, one more time. Nick! Uh, I see how it is. It's fine. Moving on. <clears throat> now I'm going to hand it off to correspondent Bat Marie Texera, who is at the scene of a really big story. <laughs> Bat Marie? Today, we are going to see the secret lives of teenagers and how they get ready for a challenge show. This is fifth grader Marisali Ponton, Bat Marie's sister. Man, I love this music. Marcelle lives in Hartford, Connecticut, but she was born in Puerto Rico. See the flag? This girl loves the spotlight, but that hasn't always been the case. I was reading in class, and then I came across this word that I didn't know in English. So when I started saying it, um, everybody started laughing. Yep, Marcelle had trouble learning to read. She was learning in a second language. Could you imagine learning to read Chinese or Greek? Maricelli and her family moved from Puerto Rico when she was just two years old. Maricelli's mom does speak a little English, but at home and in Maricelli's neighborhood, everyone usually speaks Spanish, which makes it hard to practice your English. It is hard to learn your English, especially when your family speaks Spanish only. I felt left out because I didn't know how to read or write English. And most of my friends, when they like pass notes around, they would pass me a note and they would write it in English. So when I was going to read it, I didn't know. One thing that confused Maricelli was the way the same sound can be spelled different ways. <laughs> What's that all about? You say a word like, for example, Christopher, right? It sounds like an F-E-R, but it's actually P-H-E-R. And I would be like, it's so hard. Things got so tough for Maricelli that they decided she needed to repeat the fifth grade. Ugh. I was mad. I didn't want, I was mad and sad. It was hard for me, so I wanted it to quit. But then I decided not to. You go, Maricelli. A lot of kids would just give up, but not Maricelli. Say it, spell it, say it. L-U-N-C-H. She buckled down and worked extra hard with her teachers. The teachers always gave me, like, a book, and I started reading that one, and when I finish it, they told me to read it again, and they'll, they'll give me one book harder, and then one harder, and then they'll make me understand the English more. Maricelli also worked at home with her big sister, Bet Marie. It's hard, and it's at some points in time, you just feel like giving up, because maybe you think it's not worth it, but it's worth everything. All the struggles, everything, it's gonna be worth it. And Maricelli thinks so, too. I wanted to show the bullies as they learn their second language, so good I learned my second language. And here I am talking English, and so can you. And guess what? Next year, she'll be headed to sixth grade, speaking and reading both English and Spanish. Man, she knows twice the words I do. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe I should get into this second language thing. I could be a big star in Bolivia. Oh, and, and, and Mexico, and Nicaragua, and, and Spain, and Chile, and Peru, and, and Panama, and Argentina, and Colombia, and El Salvador, and Ecuador.